ready to go play somebody else. You know, um, we've had we very very fortunate. We've uh, had great weather, um, so we, we've gotten enough reps in, and, and we needed them. Um, you know, we we have a lot of competition, and I feel like our depth is probably. Um, hopefully, our strongest point of our of our club right now, both on the mound and and the newcomers, the way they've they've pushed uh, some of our returning veterans, and and so um, excited, you know, excited to get going. This has been a group that I've really, really, really enjoyed coaching. They they maybe have been the funnest group that I've had as a whole um, up to this point. That's not saying that we're going to win the most games or, or or what have you, but they 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 really like to work. They really enjoy each other. They like to push each other, and they are they just have a great um, way about them, and, and, and they create a great atmosphere. So I'm excited to get competing with them for sure. You know, we 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 um, we have some things we got to get answered still, and I, and I think it's going to take I think it's going to take 10, 15 games maybe till we really get some things answered um, with our batting with our batting order. I think we have about uh, 10 to, to 12 guys who are right there who can who can contribute on a daily basis and. And we got to get figured out which one of those guys are going to rotate, how we're going to rotate our catchers, how we're going to go left-handed versus right-handed, um, you know, and, and also how we're going to uh, – the infield defense has got to play – continue to play itself out a little bit. Um, you know, I think we're close on those answers. Um, I wish we had them – you know, I wish I had them done by now, but I think it's, a, it's, an, it's an attribute to our team that we don't have them – completely answered right now. I think the, some guys have pushed some guys and, and we've been pleasantly surprised by some guys to think that we have a few more options than we than we necessarily did. Um, obviously, I think if you looked on paper, the return of our pitching staff it, it is you, you want to look up to that being the strength. We were a little bit short last year when it came down to the stretch run. And that's my job to go out and fix that. I didn't give us the weapons we needed, um, you know, really in the barn to use that in the stretch down the stretch and so we had to go out and address that and fix that and I feel like we've come relatively close to that and, and so if, if the guys can go out on the mound and, and do very similar to what they did last year I feel like that depth will will come up and really play a big part. Coach, uh, the pitching that you, you just described to us there, I mean you got Michael Daly, you got Brooks Vial, the bullpen is, is much more experienced, Sam Nocco. Uh, I asked Brooks, is it the best pitching staff in Atlanta? Do you think it has the potential to be that? And if so, why? Well, I think it has the potential to be that. I, I don't know. You know, again, I think you have to look up at Rhode Island. Um, you know, they return possibly the best pitcher in the Atlantic 10. And when you have a guy like that, that makes the rest of your weekend go really, really good for you. And it can go a lot easier for you. Um, you know, I, I just really like our depth. Like I, like I said, I, you know, depth can work in one or two ways. You, you know, uh, you know, you you got to be careful as a coach because sometimes too much depth might mean you don't have enough top end. Um, however, I do feel confident in our top end. I think one person that not a lot of people are talking about right now is Sean Thompson, and 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 for me, I mean, Sean can come out and be really the 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 starter of the year in our league. He has that type of stuff. He he's a legitimate bona fide number one, and I think our back end is 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 top end and Sam and Matt Jammer. And, and, uh, you know, so, yeah, I think the depth of it, I really like us, though. I tell you, I really like us five through nine. Um, that's where I really think our strength is. I think we have the ability, knock on wood, and, and things go different. Um, this year, At this point last year, I, I didn't think we were going to pitch a lick. I, I really didn't. And we ended up pitching very, very competitively. Um, and this year I have high expectations, and I hope they hold out. But, um, you know, I like us five through nine. I think we have an, the ability to throw a competitive pitch every inning of every game. And that, that, as a coach, at least helps you to sleep a little bit at night. How are you sleeping at night knowing that you're playing the number two team in the country in their, in their place uh, to, to start the season, maybe pros and cons to start off with Florida State? Oh, my lack of sleep doesn't have much to do with Florida State. It has a little bit more to do with what we're going to do. But excited. You, you know, you, you want to play the best people. And, and our guys sat up here and told you that they're, they're ready for the challenge. You don't you – don't, um, you know, you don't dream about playing college baseball and opening up in the cold and opening up in front of 50 fans. You know, you want the ability to go play the best teams in the country. They happen to return a lot of people this year, and a lot of people's picked to go to Omaha, you know. And, and so Coach Martin, obviously, is one of the best to ever coach in the game. And, and so we're excited to go down there and be a part of that tradition and, and, and show them what, you know, and show off our program. Uh, we have not ducked or shied away from any team in the country since, you know, Really, ever that this, since this program's been around, and we'll continue that. We're 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 ready to go, and and 
but my focus is on how we're going to play, you know, and, and, and it's a long season, and, and certainly the first three games of the season will not define us. Trip to Miami is going to stay with you guys for a very long time. And going to Florida State, obviously great for the stage of playing a number two team. But you mentioned to me on the first day of practice that this is helping you with getting to where you want to go, playing in regional sites, being at the scene, and knowing what to expect. Is that what you use this series for for the younger guys and some of the older guys to remind them this is where we want to be at the end of the season? Sure. I mean, you. The expectations of this program were to play into NCAA regional play. And so to do that, I believe you have to put yourself in those settings. If you would have came out to our inner squad yesterday, um, I was pumping seminal noise through our speakers. You know, it was loud there and, and we were we were pumping their chance. Oh, Canada played in the fifth inning of our game yesterday, which is a tradition there. Um, you want to put your guys in those settings. You want to put your guys against the best teams in the country. and and. It's the expectation of this program, and, and I don't want anything to be a surprise when we walk on the field at Tallahassee, nor when we walk on a, on a regional setting um, in June. I don't want anything to be too big for our guys, and, and so we're always going to play the best people we can. That's that's why you do it. Ask the guys up there. I'm sure you heard about being picked second in the A10. Uh, their thoughts on that, obviously. Nice, nice high perch there, but there is still room for improvement. And it seemed like it motivated the guys, and I kind of wonder what you thought about maybe their answers. Yeah, you know, you know, I don't ever worry about where we're picked. I mean, that's obviously other people's opinions of us, and that doesn't bother me. But the, the one thing that I, I will tell our guys is nobody picked us one, okay, in four or five pools. Nobody, nobody thinks we can win. Nobody's opinion thinks we can win uh, the A-10. And so that should, that should be a little bit of fuel for them. You know, I mean – being picked second, it, you know, that's great that some people think we're, you know, we're going to be okay. I, just for me, I just, you know, one goal we have, one thing we haven't done since since I've been here is we have not won the A-10 regular season. And we have, you know, when I took over the program, I had about five or six that were goals that were up there. And, and we've accomplished about four of them pretty quickly. And there's there's one left that, that, that I really want to get, and that's that A-10 regular season championship. And so the, the guys are pretty focused on that, and we know that starts with that. And, and then when we get in the tournament play, in the A-10, being the number one seed would be a nice boost to it. So, you know, I think that's where the guys are focused. Really, what, uh, you know, other people's opinions of us are, are what they are. I mean, Rhode Island is picked number one, and they deserve to be picked number one, to be quite honest with you. They did a great – they do a great job up there, and they return a lot of a team – a lot from a team that um, was a champ – were champions last year. So they should be picked number one. Coach, when you uh, – you mentioned the, the batting order. You got the center of your lineup, I, I would think be pretty figured out with Logan Farrar, Darian Carpenter, guys like that. So what area do you think is, you know, an area of concern for you, the front end or the back end of the lineup? Front end. Uh, front end right now. The back end will, will, will take shape on its own. You, you know, um, you know, we, we, we got to get on base for those two, those two guys. I mean, they're obviously going to be the centerpiece of the lineup. And, and we have some guys that I think, you know, we look young. We're not as young as you think. Um, you know, I mean, we have guys like Alex Grants back and Nick Ray back. Dylan Esquerdo, Zach Ching, these aren't freshmen. These these are guys who've been in our program. And uh, Alex Graham's back was a DH on a super regional team versus left-handed pitching. You know, the guy can play. You, you know, and so, you know, there, there's more there's more coming out there than what people I think think. Um, you know, but uh, the front end, we got we got to make sure our on base percentage is is, is going to be uh, good on the front end of, of Darian and Logan. And we we have a different look to us this year. We're going to play a little bit different. We just have to with our personnel, and so we have to be patient with that. And so you know, especially myself, I need to be patient with it. Senior leadership is always huge, and you've got a variety of personalities. Yeah. Logan, Darian, and Granny. Yeah. Kind of what do they bring to the team this year? Everything. They're they're awesome. I couldn't pick. I could. I told you from the start. This is one of my favorite teams I've ever coached, and it starts with those guys. I mean, Logan Farrar, Darian Carpenter. Those guys just have great attitudes about what they're doing. Logan's taken another step um, as far as uh, really this spring and the way he's gone about his work and what he's done. Darian's always been kind of the the, the grit and the muscle of our team. He's one of the toughest humans I've ever I've ever been around. And Grand's back is is really just just a full of personality. And then on top of it, you have you have Vial, you have Donko, Jammer in the bullpen. There, there's a lot of really quality people on this team. So they've set the tone. It's it, it is a real enjoyable team to coach. I will say that. Been quite illustrious, the super regional, uh, one of the best in the A10 last year. He's a Verina guy. As he enters his final season with VCU, how has he approached the season in your eyes, and what makes you excited for him to really finish his VCU legacy? 
just blue collar. You know what I mean? He, he's just no nonsense. He's, he really took a leadership role in the um, in the fall. We did a few, uh, you know, we did some Navy SEAL training. We did some different things, and and he, he stood out, you know. And, and so having a local kid, obviously we want to recruit local players, and when local players come here and, and, and achieve or overachieve, that's great for our program. Um, Darian's done everything we've asked him, whether it's, you know, play without a handmate bone in a regional and also play without a, a knee ligament in a super regional. Yeah, you know, I mean, the guy is as tough as they come. And, and um, you know, so he sets the tone for the middle part of that lineup. And, and you know, when Darian talks, we all listen, including myself. You, you know, he, I have that respect for him. He can come into my office and, and I enjoy his ideas when he does.